Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 and welcome to summer. Summer has arrived in the UK. It looks like a lovely UK summer. It's a very gray sky out. Anyways, if you missed it, there was a brand new update for Forza Horizon 4. We checked it out yesterday. It included a brand new job, a brand new wall riding fix, and some other things that they didn't actually tell you about. If you missed that video, I will link to it down below. But today, we have some cool cars to go and unlock. We've got... The Morris Traveler, which is a very, very cool car. It's one of the minis coming in mini month. And we've also got another one over here, the Mini Convertible. Both very, very cool cars. I thought I would give them a go, see what we can do, and have some fun with them. As per always, if you guys need any help with any of these events, like the trial or the playground game stuff, anything to do with online, go join the Discord, join the gaming chat. And you can find other people who want to do them together. You guys have actually been smashing our Discord and it's been very, very awesome to see all of the work you guys have been doing. So props to you guys. In the Forza Thun shop, we got a Vulcan, which is awesome. A Lotus Elise. I'm a Lotus fan and I don't really like that Lotus Elise. A car horn from a steamboat. I'll take that, sure. And a timeless top. Okay. Kind of a disappointing week in the Forza Thun shop. Once again. Anyways, so uh, let's let's bang some of this out and see what we got today, boys. Anyways, I actually wanted to start it off in this thing because this is actually one of the new cars that's coming. I think it's actually next week. This is the Maserati Corsa or MC12 Corsa. It's essentially the MC Hammer that we know and love. However, this time it's like the race version with this cool race wing and stuff. Next week, we're going to give this a go properly, so if you want to see that, I'm just saying, make sure you subscribe. From what I've been told, has been a Goliath monster and may very well be able to set some records. We don't know just yet. I mean, this is just going to be, obviously, a tiny mini first look at the MC-12, but, you know, can't complain with that. We'll take that. We got our 6% from the event. We'll keep on going. Next week, we'll play with the MC Hammer a little bit more. Do I need to do, like, a disclaimer about the Apollo IE? The Apollo IE is not in Forza Horizon 4 just yet. It is coming. It is coming at the end of the month. Today is not that day. If you want to see the Apollo, make sure you subscribe for that as well. We're going to be covering it as soon as it's available. You'll see it here first, but stay tuned. It's not available for another couple of weeks, boys. Well, there we go, 56 minutes later across the line in the Ferrari 250 GTO. We have officially now unlocked, with that race, both of our minis. The Mini Traveler, or the Mini Morris Traveler, and the Mini Convertible. Both cool cars, let's give them a go. I actually didn't know this thing existed. I don't know if Morris and Mini teamed up to make it. I would imagine that was the case. I'm not the biggest fan of Morris. If I'm honest. So shall we start it off? Let's start it off with that one, actually. What? It's 250 grand? That's an expensive car. It's almost like somebody took the front half of a Mini from 1965 and chopped the rear off a Morris Traveler, glued them together, and that's this. I mean, nobody wants to see us drive this thing stock. I want to see- I want to see if there's anything interesting with this thing. No way. No way. We've got body mods. No way. So we can turn this thing- into a- into a rally car. I mean, when I say body mods, I mean the ability to put on mud flaps and remove our rear bumper and stuff, but still pretty cool. So we can chuck in turbo four and two liter four. Go two liter- uh, turbo four. Tire size. I- I guess this is just gonna be a little bit of a rally car. Boys, I- you- you guys know me. If you ever want to please me, toss mud flaps on your car. They look cool regardless of the car. Uh, let's toss on some rally suspension to it. We could like slam it down if we wanted to toss drift suspension on. I would imagine you could actually slide this thing pretty well. Who knows, maybe this thing is gonna be like that BMW M3 we had from a couple of weeks ago when everybody was telling me, nah, it's super bad, super bad. And then I try it out and it's like, super good, super good, super good. All right, we need a good little rally race to test this thing. Let's go, let's go to my favorite one. This is my, probably my favorite rally cross race in the whole game. All right, so Mini Morris Traveler, Mini, Mini Traveler, Mini, whatever it's called. I didn't actually tune this either. I've got very short gears by the looks of it. I'm already up into fourth and fifth gear. Mario Plumbing, we're currently racing against. Whoa, 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 whoa. Strange things are going on with physics right now. Yo, this thing's a little rocket ship. I don't actually know how much horsepower it has. To be honest, I really didn't pay too much attention to the build. I just sort of slapped parts on that I thought would sort of kind of 
work together. I have no idea how much horsepower we have. All I know is that we're, re are, we're all wheel drive, rally tires, rally suspension. Yo, look, the front end actually lifts up every time I get on the gas. That's ridiculous. I'm open to learning. Um, that was kind of sketchy. <laughs> My car clipped into the ground, two wheeled it. That's not legit. Send it. I sent it two places. Very nice. Come on, we're on the final lap, little mini. I want the dub. We can't let a plumber's van beat our mini. In, break, up the inside. Oh my god, the grip he has is unbelievable. I got one more corner. One more corner to go full send. Come on. One more. Full send. Full send. Ah, that was so close. So close. Damn it. I'll give you that one, game. That was a pretty good race. It's kind of hard to drive this thing because it's so powerful and so lightweight. It's just kind of floaty. You guys are saying it looks like it could be a drag car. I mean, it almost could be, but one, you don't have the horsepower just because you can't fit a very big engine in the front there. And two, the tires you can fit on this thing aren't that wide. If you can make them wider, and if you could swap in, say, even a V8 into this, boy, then it'd be hella quick. Then you would want to watch out. So yeah, this is the old Mini we had with a wide body kit on it. Super, super cool car. We also had this one, which was kind of boring, but this one's got no roof and convertibles are... I don't like them in real life, but in games, very, very cool. Maybe there will be some body kits for this. That'd be good. Anything here? No. A rear wing? Uh, what? <laughs> that wouldn't do anything. It's literally behind the convertible top. That wouldn't work. All right, well, Mini Cooper, what do we do to you? We'll go with the Turbo Rally engine as well for this thing because I think it's a fun engine. I think it's a good one. Bring those tire widths out a little bit. Yo, those rims are actually really ugly. Like, I was gonna stick with those to keep it in terms, in like the mind of, oh, a sleeper cart, but eh. um, Just give me like, yo, kinda have a new idea for this thing. I kind of want to go like Stance Nation. All right, literally the entire chat is telling me not to do that. Fine, okay, fine. Okay, I'm going to go with these and I'm going to make them look good. Yo, roll cage, yo, roll cage isn't a bad idea. How would a roll cage look on this, actually? We need some nice brakes. Big boy brakes, I like them. We already got our drift suspension on. We might need to raise it back up, but that's okay. I kind of like it, boys. I kind of like the roll cage. Boys, it looks so cool. I'm doing it. So we've got the same engine that we had in the previous mini. Same upgrade. So we've got the exact same horsepower, except for this time, we're rear wheel drive. Maybe, I don't know what I want to build, okay? I'm just seeing what's possible. So how about we paint this thing like a, like a British racing green? Maybe we'll change it up a little bit so it's a little bit different. I kind of like it in green. In green, it looks pretty cool. You know what I could do? Paint this part black. Okay, we paint this part green. Can we actually tint the windows? Nope, doesn't have windows. All right, we need racing stripes. I forgot about the racing stripes. Yeah, good idea. Yo, this is coming together really nicely. Jack says, okay, it looks better with stripes. I told you my stripes looked good. I kind of like it, boys. It looks different. It looks very special. I don't know. I... I like the roll cage, the Union Jack tail lights, pretty cool as well. I will be honest, I'm definitely struggling to slide it around the way I'd want to. So maybe drifting isn't the best thing for this. I will be honest, it just, it's never really going to be a drift car. So you know what? Let's go back in for one second. Race suspension, race tires. Still rear wheel drive, so it's gonna slide, but not slide that much. Let's go find ourselves a race to go into. Maybe something in Edinburgh. That could be fun. We could do like our own little mini, sorta kinda Italian job. Oh, perfect. We've got all the hot hatches. Okay. Well, they're clearly all wheel drive. I am not. I clearly forgot to change something on this car because boy, it's slidey. 
It, it doesn't want to go in a straight line. All-wheel drive? No, I didn't want all-wheel drive. Oh, my diff is completely locked. That's one. Yep, that's gonna make me slide a lot. Hold on, this, it, it, it doesn't work right now. I don't know why it's sliding around so much. I mean, with all-wheel drive, it should counteract that quite a bit. Much better. So, same engine, same weight, every, I mean, similar weight. We're up about 100 pounds heavier just because all-wheel drive, but... I think we should be okay. So we're still gonna be on unbeatable difficulty. Hey, we're racing some R32s. Look at that. Hey, we get off the line pretty nicely. Let's see how it actually kind of drives. I mean, whoa, it's still slidey. Not nearly as slidey as before. But the minis want to go hooning today, apparently. DJ says Christmas came early. The color combination is bugging me. <laughs> I didn't think of that, but yeah. Red and green everywhere. It definitely looks like Christmas. Yeah, so I will be honest, my Morris Traveler was much, 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 much better than this Mini. Neither of the cars that we got today are really ever gonna be competitive at really anything. They're just not really built for that. They're more just built as like a, oh, you like Mini? Here you go, here's a Mini. That's, that's really all they're built for. Like, it's a cool car. And it's great and it's quick, but it's never gonna be super, super, super fast. And I feel like if one of them's actually gonna be more fun to drive and get used more, it's almost this one. Like, I find it's actually really cool because it's kind of a long car for quite a small car. So you could actually slide this thing around and like drift it and screw around and actually have some fun with it. But at the same time, it's also a really good rally car because of how light it is. Yeah, I feel like a UK can block with this. I could just go send it all through, pull some huge slides, and just joke around, really, because it's, it's never going to be super fast. I don't know. I, I like this thing. Really fun to drive around. Absolute laugh. The mini convertible, cool, but I don't know. It's not as fun. I like this one. It's got, like, more character to it.